Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to place banner ads in an Android application. In the first part of this tutorial, I will be placing my quiz UI in a relative layout. It is very easy to add AdMob to your app with Android Studio 2.2, which has Firebase tools. You will need a Firebase, AdWords, AdMob, and AdSense accounts to set this up. These are very easy to set up if you have a Gmail account. Click on Tools and select Firebase. This opens the Firebase Assistant. Scroll to the bottom, click on Add Mob, and then click on Add a Banner to your app. And it is as simple as following the instructions. Let's start with Step 1 and connect your app to Firebase. This signs you into Android Studio, close the web page, and you're taken to an interface that connects your app to Firebase. Since it's a new app, type in the app name. Choose create a new Firebase project and then connect to Firebase. This downloads the Firebase configuration. Let's now go to step two and add AdMob to our app. This makes changes to the build.gradle and the app gradle files. Accept the changes and this will sync the Gradle files automatically. Let's go to step three and add the banner to our layout. Add the add view and the namespace. Skip step four and go to step five. The add unit ID is placed in the strings file. Next, let's go into the activity and declare a private addView variable named addView and copy the three lines of code into the onCreate method. This assistant would have been perfect except that it forgot to initialize the Google Mobile AdMob SDK. This is going to require permission to use the internet. Go into the manifest and add the necessary permissions. Now let's run the app and see if it works. Great, now to create an add unit. Navigate to the AdMob website. Click on Monetize and select Add Your App Manually. Type in your app name and select the platform. There are four different types of ads. Banner, Interstitial, Rewarded Interstitial, and Native. Select Banner, give your ad unit a name and hit Save. You will then be provided with an app ID, which is to substitute the string on the line where we initialized the AdMob mobile ad in the quiz activity, and an add unit ID, which substitutes the banner add unit ID value in the strings.xml. Do not add these values to your app until you are ready to launch in the Play Store. Also, do not click on your ads 
because it can cause you to get banned. Hit like or subscribe and thanks for watching.